Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. Um, so today's haul is a new look try on, which I'm really excited about. I got really excited when I went in there. I got a new pair of jeans as well, guys, which I know you love it when I find some decent jeans. So grab a nice cup of tea and some snacks and let's get into the video. I'm off on my way out. We're going to be going for a little picnic today. So haven't got a little cup of tea because it's like a little quick thing. And also I wanted to say as well, I do apologise that I'm not getting back to comments. I used to be like really on the ball with it, message back. But at the moment, because the kids are at home, there's no schooling and stuff, the comments that are coming through, there's so many kind people out there. And I want to get back to you all, but obviously I am a mum of three and we're off on a picnic. So that doesn't sound it's like mummy duties, does it? But you know, it's family time. So I do apologise. I'm not being rude. I'm not I hope I haven't offended no one. Um so the pro I was gonna say the prime might try and haul. The new look try and haul. So the new look try and haul. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is I'm in some spanks. So if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen my trials before, I always put on a pair of spanks. I get asked all the time where these are from. These are just the five pound ones from Primark. I get mine in a size large because I'm a size 16 to 18, but now I am a full-on fledged 18 on the bottom half. Um, so yeah, that's from isolation. I was in, like, in between size, but now I'm an 18. And I've just got a vest top. It's just basically for modesty. I don't want to be ordering my bra and knickers because you do get some weird people. So it's just for modesty while I try my clothes on. And because I can't edit, I can't edit me being like, oh, I'm in my clothes already. So you get to see me struggling to get in these things. So the first thing I got, I really needed a really nice pair of a lovely sort of fabric denim jeans and you'll know what I mean when I say lovely fabric sometimes they're almost like cotton they're almost like jeggings but I like that really thick sort of like denim denim so I got them and they're the new look Halley jeans and they're the high waist super skinny so like the Halley brand um, and I got these in a size 16 so I like them to be really fitted like they're sprayed on um, and I've got these in the short which is amazing because I really struggle to find short jeans I'm five foot two and I really struggle to get ones that are in my length and um, so these were £28.99 it was a little bit dearer than Primark but that being said I had a pair of black new look jeans a couple of years ago and I had them for a while because they don't fade as quick as the Primark ones and um, they're made using less water they're the kind collection and um, so then Halley so we're going to try these on I hope they're brilliant. They have got like a super stretch in them. I don't think I would have got a 16 if they'd have been a little bit more firm. So we'll see if these go on if I'm just being a little bit wishful thinking that the 16 still fit me. But I like that they're in the short length. They do do a regular and tall range as well. Oh, these are going on quite nice. Over my little isolation baby belly. <laughs> oh, I haven't actually got a baby in there. It's like full of cake. <laughs> but could done with an 18 but I'm not getting an 18 I want a 16 so I want a nice and fitted let's see what they look like on the bum a scooch <laughs> family coming through so they're nice and fitted on the bum quite nice they suck you in nice enough that you don't get the sort of like overhang belly too much you do get a little bit of it I won't lie but that's more me than actually the jeans and they come at a really lovely length as well so if you are a shorter girl they are the perfect little ankle grazer jeans and they really lift the booty up. <laughs> so they are lifting up quite nicely. <laughs> oh, that rough already, guys. I stood on the stool. Maybe I need to <laughs> pack it in with picnics and go for a little jog. Oh, <laughs> but these are like, oh my God, you know who I'm you of? You know Grace, when she has this thing, you're the one that I love. You are the one that I ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, guys, but yeah. You know, in my head, I actually look like Sandy, so just let me live with that dream. So I didn't get any dresses, which is such a shock because every time I do a haul, there is always at least two or three dresses. I'll say that last one had one dress. But I'm, I'm not really loving skinny jeans and a t-shirt. I think because of the isolation has been a little bit, it's been a bit overwhelming, guys, hasn't it? It's been a little bit like, oh, and I don't really want to make sure I shave my legs and tell my legs. So I think chucking on a pair of jeans and just a really nice pretty blouse makes me feel good, but it's not as much effort. Um, so, and in the winter you can obviously wear tights, so it's the summer dresses that are a pain in the bum. So I've got some really lovely tea blouses. Now these are really in fashion at the moment, and I really, really love these style. I think they're so flattering. I did have a lady message me say, peplum tops aren't for everyone if you have large boobs, because they give a balloon effect. Now I'm not being contrary, like arguing back, but 
That is the whole point in the peplum. So yes, if you wear just a t-shirt, a boxy t-shirt, your boobs, it will hang off your boobs like that and just go down. So you appear the, the, the width that your, your boobs come out to. When you wear a peplum, they come back in here. So they bring you in to your waist here. And if you do have a belly or maternity or like little area like I've got here going on, this bit of a belly, a bit of cake and stuff, it will flow back out. So I know she said if you've got large boobs, they don't suit you. Peplum tops tend to suit everybody because even if you are carrying more weight here, it gives you the, um, the illusion of a waist. So it will always tuck in here, but then it will flare back out so it's not clinging to your belly neither. Because I find some women will wear like bat wing. They'll wear bat wing tops that are like ruched and pulled in here. But it makes this part look larger where these tend to be our smaller little parts where the decolletage and stuff is and like under your ribs. And then it's tight here on the belly. So these tea blouses are perfect. Now don't get me wrong, I'm loving these puffable sleeves. I understand these puffable sleeves aren't for everybody. So I've got a different option as well. If you like these sort of blouses but you don't want the clinging on your arm puff blouse but this was such a beautiful pattern this was 17.99 and it's like a daisy pattern um, and I really really love this I might even have to undo the buttons on this because I've got this in a 16 as well I'm at that stage where Gary's on the phone to his friend I thought what's he, what's he talking about he locked it I thought he's probably talking to me if I locked something about like no girl <laughs> I've not done anything wrong <laughs> Right, let's undo this, guys. Sorry. Should have had these prepared, really, but you know me. Not really prepared at much. So I do love these. I think this is a really nice length. It comes in here with a crookie. So this is normally not where I carry a lot of my weight on my arms. So it covers my arms nicely, but it isn't feeling super restrictive. Neither. Is it restrictive or restricting? Um, so I'm going to pull the vest down as well so that we can get look. Because it's a lovely v-neck as well. So a lot of these were high neck last year, but I'm loving that they're all v-neck. Because if you do have the larger boobs, they go, well, i tell you what, guys, not happy about that, look, buttons come off already, so I've got to sew that button on, which, you know, let's hope that isn't the, for it all, so I've got to sew that back on, which is a bit annoying, actually, I'm glad that happened on here, because <laughs> can you imagine, you, all of you had buttons falling off, so it's open at the front because the buttons come undone, but you'll see what I mean. So it comes in here and then it has the little kick flare at the bottom. It would look a little bit more flattering if I didn't have these bloody vests on. But it comes in a bit more flattering here and then it kicks out here. So even if you do have a larger, it's just going to kick out and it will look like the peplum. But here where you're under your ribs, under your bra, is the smallest part and it brings it in. And I really like this. And I like the V as well because it's not too revealing. You literally just see all your decolletage fat getting all like busty and cleavage. So I think this is really pretty and I think you could wear this really nice and lovely little straw bag, some little tan sandals, a little bit skinny jeans like this. Really lovely. Oh. But the button has come off, so I will re-sew that on, which will be pretty simple. You'll see where it is. There's a little bit of string there, but it's a bit annoying. You don't want to buy new clothes and have to re-sew buttons onto it. So hopefully that is just that one. Um, and that was an in size 16. And how much did I say? Did I say how much that is? I'm so rusty with these now. Yeah, $17.99, which $17.99 for a button to fall off, not great, is it? So if you don't like having the ones with the puffy sleeves that sort of restrict you, these have got the angel flip, 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 <laughs> flip, 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 they've got, the <laughs> they've got the float sleeves. Um, So this is $12.99, so cheaper as well, it's in a silky material, but it's not too, you know, like you get that sweaty silky material, it's not like that, it's quite nice, it's like a silky cotton. So these buttons do undo, but they're the fabric covered buttons, actually, it was like a slightly better quality, even though it's cheaper. It's got the fabric co covered buttons on the front. Colour, colour, fluffer, fluffer. You know what I'm like, that. Right, and this is in a size 16, and this was 12 99 Yes, just to double check. And it's in the most beautiful floral pattern, and it's got like a black background with bits of like lime green, pale duck egg blue, white and pink flowers all over it. So it looks a bit like a an all, all rounder, this one. The V-neck is a little bit higher. Oh no, actually, I just didn't have it properly. But I really love this blouse. I think it's really pretty. And with a really nice little bag and a little pair of sandals, this is just going to look really, really sweet. And it's going to look swish, guys. Let's pull these jeans up. Um, so you see the peplum. And look, it just looks really, really cute. It looks really, really sweet. And do you know what? Even though you've got a skirt on, you can still swish your blouse. Gary's at the doorway, just watching me like I'm a lunatic. He knows I'm a lunatic, so that's fine. <laughs> So, I really like this as well, and you can see the pattern. 
just get a bit closer. <laughs> See my chins? See my double chins? Um, so let's take this one off. So this is 12 and I really like this one. I think I could have probably... I think these ones come a little bit oversized. I think I probably want that a little bit more tucked in at the waist, that one. Um, so I might even change it to 14, which is... Woohoo! Because I'm definitely not 14. <laughs> now this one, I don't know whether you're going to like this or not, guys, but I saw this. It was hanging at the doorway. As soon as I walked in, I saw it. And it's so mad, it reminds me of an old vintage handbag. Something that would have been in, like, the 20s. I don't know, just something... Not the 20s. Maybe, like, the 30s. Something... But it would have been brownie. You know when you watch black and white film and you think, I bet that was really bright, that carpet, but it weren't really that bright. All that breath, let me catch my breath, guys. Whew. So, I'm going to show you. Gary, stop watching. How cute is this? But it's also a v-neck, so these are all kind of the same style. So I wanted to get some jeans and some blouses, because these are the kind of things that I'm wearing at the moment. Next time I do, I will get you some dresses, guys, I promise. Um, yeah, another t-shirt. How funky is this? Now this was 19.99 and it's a lovely sort of like shirt cotton, so you'd have to iron this, I think. But this is my theory. This could have quite easily been about 38 pound in Topshop, 100%. So if you are looking for that really trendy, bright pops of like crazy stuff that you would get from like River Island or Topshop, New Look does it far cheaper. Um, so this has also got fabric covered buttons, but it hasn't got the little eyelet loops. It's actually got the holes in the fabric, which I do prefer because I find them a little bit fiddly. I find like my fingers are little stodgy fingers trying to get them undone. So I'm going to undo this. I've got this in a size 16 also. Now this does have like the thick cuff here and it doesn't have a button. So it might be worth trying it on because if it is a little bit restricted on the arms, I hope it isn't one of them ones where they're so oversized on the puff and then just really quite tight. Oh, this can be one of them ones I get stuck in, isn't it? Oh, I'm just going to look like a doll in this one. This one could be really hit and miss, guys. It could be really like one of them ones that you like rosy, actually. Do you know what? But all of this is like when I'm properly ready. I like to have something cute. Ryan, we'll see. Right, sort of faffing my hair. It's because it's gone flat. I straightened my hair today, or yesterday, after I washed it. Just tied it in a bun to get like these sort of curls go through it. But then the top's gone really flat and I feel like goofy, you know, these long ears, like one of them dogs. <laughs> um, so this one, which I really, really love this. I think this is so cute. And if you are a little bit daring, you could probably pick like the pops of orange or the pink off of this and have your like toenails painted like it. Really lovely little pair of bright sandals. But I would probably go still with like nice black sandals. Keep all the colour and the loudness in the blouse. I'm going to grab a bag, guys. Just going to grab a bag. I think it's really cute. Right bag that my mum got me back from holiday. But just like, really, really cute. A little pair of sandals, maybe some sunglasses on your head. I just think it would look really, really sweet. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Am I just feeling this? Is it all wrong? Like, you need to tell me the truth. Is this too much? But I really love the V as well. I think it's just... <laughs> I'm lunging into the camera. I just think it looks really, really nice. I'm loving this top. I'm just feeling like super fresh in it. I'm feeling like I'll be that girl that walks down the street and people will just be like, that girl's got a life to give a look. She's got like all black and the pops of colour in her top. She even matched her toenail polish to match. Feeling it, guys? I'm feeling it. Um, so this is my haul. I haven't gone mad. I have said in my Primark video, obviously before I would do a try on Friday every single Friday and I would make sure I have at least five or six items to show you in the shops. Varied styles. But obviously, due to the coronavirus, I don't want to be always taking stuff back because it's not really fair to the people that are working there because it isn't as simple as hanging it on a rail and then just basically hanging it back out as if it's only just been tried on. Because of the coronavirus, I think they've got to do procedures to get it all ready, leave it for a few days before they can rehang it. I'm not too sure how it works, um, but <laughs> I just want to be safe. So I'm just... Getting things that I actually really love, that I really, really want, and I'm trying, I can't just get every other style because then it is just being wasteful. So there is less styles as well, but I'm still going to do a try on Friday every Friday. But I just don't want to buy loads and loads of stuff because I can't take it back and let's get it right. No one actually needs that amount of clothes. If I'd have kept all the clothes from last year, literally I'd have no space. I would say there was a good, a lot of map, a good, a lot of amount. There was a good, a lot of amount of them that did get kept. 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 Honestly, I don't know what is wrong with me half the time. I don't know where these words go. I 
a bit nervous, guys, around you. No, um, so, yeah, so I'm just trying to sort of pick up things that I know that I'm not going to want to take back. Obviously, if they don't fit me, or they really do just look horrendous, maybe you've got to let me know about this, guys, if it does look horrendous, then maybe take them back. But I'm really going with the mindset not to take it back. So, like, around Christmas time, I didn't need... 10, you know, party dresses from each shop for that for that month over Christmas. So then they went back. But, yeah, so I'm just going to stop blabbering on now let you get on with your day. So I've been Rosie Henshaw. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free to do so. Give it a little like if you want. Maybe a little comment. I love all your comments. Love reading them. And I will soon be getting back into commenting back. <laughs> so I'm going to go now because I'm all sweaty and out of breath, guys. Thank you. I blame you all. So take care. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Bye.